Okay, in this video we're going to go over just some uh, introductory symbols and the equations that go with them. The first one here, the n, right, this is just the number of scores that you have in, a, um, in your study, right? So if you're dealing with 30 people, maybe your n equals 30. If you're looking at just yourself and you had say, okay, I want to say how often I worked out in February, and I worked out 14 times. Well, then my N is 14 for that one. Right? So the N is just the number of scores that um, that you'll be dealing with in, in this um, in this data set, right? Okay. So the next one here is mu. Okay, and it looks kind of like a like a curly U of sorts, right? And what this is, this is the population average. And how you find mu is you go sum of x. Right? divided by n. So you take all of your scores, your raw scores, and you add them up, and then you divide by however many scores you had. So say I had five sets, uh, or I had five scores of five. I would add up five, um, 10, 15, 20, 25, so my sum of x would be um, 25, and then I would divide by um, n, in this case, 5, so 25 divided by 5 um, is 5, right? All right, the next one here, um, sum of squares, right? This is a huge formula in statistics, and how you find that one is sum of x squared minus sum of x squared divided by n, okay? I know that kind of these two, um, sum of x squared and sum of x squared right here, kind of sound the same. Um, they're not, right? So the first one, sum of x squared, you take all the x's, all the scores, you square them, and then you add them up, okay. which is different than over here, right, where um, you're going to take all the scores, add them up, and then square it, okay? The last one is, um, or the, over on this side now, is population um, variance, right? And population variance is um, sum of squares, divided by n. So you take this sum of squares right here, right? I'm just going to kind of do a little line right here. Your sum of squares, whatever you get for that formula, and you divide by n, your number of scores, right? So this is population variance. Again, um, population variance is sum of squares divided by n, okay? The next one, population um, standard deviation, really important. And, and actually, we use standard deviation a lot more than we use variance. But to find standard deviation, we have to find variance first. And all we do to find um, standard deviation is we just take the square root of variance. Okay. So if your variance for the population is 25, well, then your standard deviation is 5. If your standard of, or if your variance is 49, then your standard deviation is 7. All right, so whatever you get for variance, you just take the square root of it, and you find standard deviation. Again, this one over here is for population. Okay, these um, equations are for population. Okay, next um, variance for a sample. So variance for a sample is sum of squares divided by n minus 1. Okay, and n minus 1, we call that, and at this point, degrees of freedom. Okay, so degrees of freedom is n minus 1. Okay, so in some textbooks, and in, in, in some ways, I'll write it, it'll say like sum of squares divided by degrees of freedom. Just know that degrees of freedom um, is n minus 1. Okay, so um, again, we, have, we find variance first, and then from variance, we can find standard deviation. So standard deviation, just like with um, you know, the population, you just take the square root of your variance. So you take sum of squares divided by your n minus 1, and that gives you your standard deviation for a sample. So again, we have um, population is in red there, and then these last two are when we deal with a sample. They look really similar. They're just a little bit different because, again, um, when you're dealing with a sample, you have this concept called sampling error, and that's what the degrees of freedom um, tries to adjust for. 